Before you guys see the video, I want you guys to see my setup for this video. I had three thick books stacked on top of each other with a deck of cards there. So I can just put it down and then have it like this so it's looking down for you guys so you guys can see the deck profile a bit better. So the video quality isn't going to be super good, but to make up for that, here's a free coat for you guys. Enjoy. There you go. Enjoy the video. Bye. What's up guys, Pokebox and Plays here. Today I'm here for a deck profile on the Seismodron Mellow Water deck, also known as Round. So, um, let's start the deck profile. I've, I found this deck out from Puka and I've just paid for it. I haven't tested this list out very much, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Okay, so four temple, doesn't really matter which one you use. Put it down there. Four Palpito. This one doesn't matter because it has the attack around. Put that down. Four Seismito because it's your main attacker. And it does 30 for two energy to color this, which is pretty good in consideration of this deck. Move this back a little bit. Four Meloetta because it has the attack around. And it's a basic. The EX and 110 HP it has right there. Making an EX isn't super good, but it works really well when you can just spam Mellow Water down and get as many. Sorry if you guys can hear that in the background. Spam Mellow Water and then um, just use Side Swindler's attack and you can hit up to 180 damage. You have a full bench. Sorry for moving the camera there. But this is a really awkward position, so I get really scared if any just movements happen. Okay, so. That's our uh, lineup. Ugh, okay. So if you guys can hear that in the background, someone's calling. I'm not answering. Uh, okay, three Juniper for our supporter lineup. For my draw. Because you don't always need the fourth. You don't always want the fourth. Because discarding is really crucial, like really sucks in this deck. For N because shuffle draw is really good and six cards consistently at the beginning is pretty good and then also just giving them a late game end okay three colors instead of four because i prefer colors to be really good because it gives you all this like all because you're benching so much down and other people are benching down a bunch of stuff so it makes it really really good and then instead of the fourth colors i play one shana because Late game, this is pretty good. Early game is okay. I like it better than the four uh, colors. Three Skyla. Because you have a lot of items and supporters that if you draw dead, you need to get. So that's pretty good. And our final supporter, one Lysander. Because the six kind of has trouble sometimes, so you just need to pick something up and just destroy it. Okay. Let's get the other two. Oh, it's kind of hard to do. Okay. Four Ultra Ball. Because level ball rotated, and you want to be able to get your Seismic Toads, your Meloettas when you need them, your Palpitoads. Um, let just clean this up. Four Ultra Ball. Sorry for the awkward angle. This is the best I could do. I don't have a tripod. Two switch. It's from base sets. It's pretty. It's cool. Um, because your Meloet has a one retreat, your Palpitoad has a two, your Temple has a one, and sometimes you just don't want them to be up. So you use your switch instead of manually retreating. This is one of the reasons I played only um three Juniper instead of four, and only one Lysander because you can just recover it with Palpat. Palpat's really good, really underrated. I found this out recently. I, I, I'm loving it now. I normally just put my Colrus back in this deck because I, I love the um, I love how good Colrus is uh, when you're drawing so many cards. One Sacred Ash because Super Rod rotated and late game you want to get all your size into it, all your Timbo's back, even a Mellow Water or two. They killed it. So yeah. And then three Silver Bangle. Because you don't need muscle band because you're gonna be killing normal EXs anyways. And also early game if you if you have two, 
uh, poke one out and you, you can just use this, a silver bangle, and then get a Chuko whip. And also, you don't always have to have a full bench, you can just have five rounders in play, and then use a silver bangle. One mega foam for G booster, muscle band, float zone, stuff like that. Just really good overall. Just a nice little attack. One roller skates because there's no level ball, no nothing, so we need a little take a little chance for some extra draw. One catcher because I don't always like having to use a supporter like Lysander, so catcher's really good. Swing this back a little bit. Two Evo Soda because sometimes you just need that clutch palpito to get another rounder or Seismitoad or something like that. Sorry that everything's click on like this. I moved it. Okay. For uh, Candy. Now you might be asking, why do you play Rare Candy if you're playing for Palpitoad? Now the answer to that question is, early game you're going to be Rare Candying, but eventually you're going to run out and you're still going to need Seismitoads, so you play Palpitoad. And also you play Evo Soda, stuff like that, so it just makes it easier if you have both Palpitoad and Rare Candies. And it, it, it works well with both. If you had one or the other, it wouldn't, the deck wouldn't really work. One dowsing machine. Either, you can play either this or computer search. I like dowsing machine more because sometimes you need that clutch evil soda, rare candy, catcher to win the game. So, yeah, I like dowsing like I said. But, I mean, they're both really good options. Okay, let's close that up. Okay. And our energy line is, let me just organize this, for psychic energy, you can either play this or water energy, I prefer psychic, in a really, really weird situation where you have to play um, attack with Malawetta, but I mean, if you wanted to play it, you could play water for you wanted to use Hyper Voice, but I don't know, just both don't really matter at all. That was just my personal decision. But what really does matter in this deck is double colorless energy for that quick one attachment. And then, yeah, after that one attachment, you can be swinging right away. So, I mean, this deck works pretty well. It's a pretty good budget deck. If you want another list, uh, check out Pukas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leak a like. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!